Working alone has advantages, but working in a group is much better. So in our school, we have created a group of students that will be responsible for the development and management of our project. Weekly, we get together in order to update ourselves on everything is happening about our project and enjoy the time to give special attention to our space. Our space is basically an area within the school that was forgotten and full of debris. But with our care and dedication, it has become a room dedicated to our meetings and an agroforest with a space reserved for our nursery of seedlings. With 13 trees and a huge cemented area, the school left something to be desired in terms of sustainability. So the clogged area was cleared, the soil enriched to receive the various type species of plants, and an area was set aside to accommodate the seedlings. In the nursery of seedlings also is located our vermiculture, to where we find earthworms that produce fertile land, used to fertilize the agroforest. Besides the vermiculture, we have a composting system, which also helps to fertilize the land and still use the food remains of the canteen. In our school, we work out also with the selective collections that selects all discarded material in order to give them a correct destination. There is also a box for the collection of electronic junk. The students themselves deposed all kind of garbage, and when the box fills a cooperative collective, collects it and gives it its proper destination. Finally, in order to guarantee the health and well-being of all, we collect fluorescent lamps, which contain substances harmful to health and the environment. All these activities are carried out within a project developed through a partnership with the students, teacher, school, and all this is done to ensure the welfare of the school community and the community in general.